In this class, we will be covering report life cycle. I will be telling more about Jasper reports in the report life cycle. Okay, so now coming on to the report life cycle. First, uh, I would like to give some background on Jasper reports. Jasper reports is completely built on Java framework. Now, the the portion where we uh, design the report and we we place all the elements and all it's all into a good looking ui and that ui is called jaspersoft studio and there's an equivalent called ireports but we will be taking up jaspersoft studio because ireport is now uh, the development on it is discontinued as it's a very old pro product of this so jaspersoft studio will be moving on first thing is that the design phase what we uh, what we do like for when we start designing the report what what the IDE does parallelly is starts creating an XML format so, and and as it is for Jasper so the name coded is JRXML the reports written are into a JRXML format JXML file so that is then suppose when we design the whole report connecting it with the data source passing on all the data into the report designing the report on the id the studio and then we, we then when we are done with it we compile the report to create a dot jasper file which is a template of the same report we have created but it into a it is into a compile unit then we move on to the execution phase wherein the data the database values or the data query which you have written plus your your parameters which you have to insert like suppose you want to run the report for all the mails in the in the company so the, your entry is the parameter will be mail and or suppose the filter as as we as a nomenclature used in the companies and that is uh, attached along with the dot jasper file to compile into a jprint format now that jprint is is what we see into the report viewer the output and then uh, that is only uh, created into uh, different different formats like pdf or excel format that is that is then distributed into that so as seen here that this JRXML is into the designing phase then this Jasper plus data is added and there is parameter as well which generates our report. So I will just quickly show just a brief look on how it like we have several templates as well but I will just use a simple one to just show you what I mean by so suppose i quickly drag and show things so uh, here everything is drag and drop you can simply uh, drag and drop things this is a uh, ui of jas uh, of jasper studio now see i i created a text field a static text and a page number now if i see the source here it has automatically created all the kinds of XML data here. Like it will create, it will write the version of the Jasper report I'm using. Then uh, we'll be using the query string. Like we didn't use any query for this report, so we we whatever query comes here goes inside this, and and then. This is the title band. Now the report has structure of bands like title, page header, column header, detail, column footer, and page footer. I will take up in detail for each of them. I'm just giving a brief idea. So once you design the report here, you can simply do a preview. 
like suppose I just delete it. I do a preview. Now what it did is that it this is the one page report wherein I have placed static text into the title. It simply ran and created because I just used an empty database because I had no data pulling into the from the database so it just simply ran the report. So what happened here was I designed the report a JRXML was created see blank underscore a4 dot JRXML is the name of the report and the source is accordingly created whatever like like whatever the band height uh, and the suppose the static text it automatically creates this it's 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 xml only just it's for jasper so it's not named as grxml the export phase like I came onto the preview, this is the report viewer which is embedded inside the report. What I can do is I can export as an PDF or an RTF, docs, ODT, and several formats as you see over here. So, this is all the methods we can export into. Like, I can export as a PDF, it will ask where to save for, and you can simply go and save it. So this is as simple as the report report life cycle is. Okay, so, so this was the whole report cycle here. So I will end this session with this note. So thank you for joining the meeting.